<clears throat> okay, Mariam. Mariam is in uh, Tehran, is a graphic designer and an independent researcher uh, with special interest in uh, interdisciplinary projects that involve art, science, and technology. If you go to lasertalks.com, you'll find uh, <clears throat> longer bios and, uh, and links to websites. Mariam, I stopped sharing my screen. And I ask uh, um, uh, Umar and uh, Mike to mute themselves and uh, uh, leave the screen uh, all to Mariam so she has maximum bandwidth. Okay, all yours. You can you can start your uh, your discussion. <clears throat> so. Um... Hello everyone, this is Mariam Razi. Um, if I want to introduce myself, I would say I'm a curious girl who finds wonders in different fields from art to design, to technology, to science, to music and more. Um, I'm Tehran's laser chair and I started doing, uh, I mean running laser in Tehran in 2017. And since then, I have held um, I have held five laser talks, and uh, I've been involved in uh, some different curated projects involving art, science, and technology. Uh, it's truly an honor for me to be a part of this webinar, and thanks to Piero Scarofi for giving me this opportunity to talk about Tehran media art scene. Um, even though the pandemic, um, current uh, political issues and uh, like currency depreciation in Iran have made it hard to do in-person media art projects, but still there are, uh, there are wonderful and amazing um, projects that uh, they have their worth to uh, talk about them more in details. So, First of all, I leave my email here. If you want to be in touch with me, uh, I'm super happy, happy to hear from you. Um, uh, so for this webinar, I'm going to share with you um, some projects and some uh, collective and platforms uh, that have um, defined uh, projects about media art involving art, science, technology, and architecture. Uh, first of all, I tell you the story of um, a successful festival that was established in 2011, but um, had to pause its activities in 2019 for uh, the problems that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this festival is called TADAX which stands for Tehran Annual Digital Art Exhibition. Um, here is the spelling and the a website that you can look into the website and explore in um, these eight uh, years of the Todd uh, Let's see some pictures. And then I'll show you a video. This is Tadex. So Tadex was founded and planned to break new ground in digital arts and to create an uh, independent platform for enthusiasts and researchers in the field. Um, Throughout the eight years of TADAX, 115 pieces were exhibited from 340 artists as installations, audiovisual performances, and animations and video arts. TADAX has represented artists, festivals, and universities from various countries through a collaborative effort. Countries such as Germany, Austria, Japan, United States, Canada, France, Poland, Australia, Mexico, Argentina, Bahrain, Qatar, and Kuwait. TADAX has hosted up to 
3,000 audiences annually for exhibition, performances, and talks. But due to the current situation, the festival has been postponed. So we are all looking eagerly to the next episode, I hope, after the pandemic. Um, let's see a video. Where is it? Oh, I guess I have to do it again. Sorry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry, the internet connection sucks here in Tehran. Where is it? So if you go to tadax.com, you can explore in eight years of Tadax. Let's see a video of Tadax in 2018. Um, The next project I'm going to talk about is Tehran platform. Um, so here you can also see their website, tehranplatform.com. Tehran platform is a project space based in Tehran for multidisciplinary design and architecture by emerging computational tools, fabrication technologies, and material system developments. One of their amazing projects is Velograph. Um, let's take a look at Velograph. Um, Here is Velograph, which I'm going to talk about more in details. Uh, Velograph is about water crisis in Iran and is a tool to represent the number and the geographical location of the wells that are dug in each drainage basin of Iran's drying lakes. Here are some pictures of uh, a robot. Here is the robot. This robot actually draw uh, and put signs of uh, these wells that uh, causes um, like water uh, drying lakes, I mean. These pictures are taken in the last Tadax festival. It's Lake Romia. And here are different lakes of Iran that they have, they are like drawing. Uh, 
I think about it's like 13 canvases of these robot drawings and uh, they are completely an artwork. And they have also another wonderful project which is not launched yet. Um, this is Cognitive Sciences Museum. I just show you in a glance, then you can uh, find more and go to their website. It's um, some sketches for a museum in Tehran for cognitive sciences. Unfortunately, I couldn't um, find Mehran in town during the two weeks. He's a bit busy with some projects and he couldn't uh, provide me uh, some details about this project. But we continue with um, that project. They are cool guys from Shiraz, my hometown. That project is the that project stands for Darul Hokume, D A H is for Darul Hokume. And uh, here is their um, email address. Let's go to their website to see. Uh, too many tabs here. So it's the project. Um, that project, uh, which is um, run by two cool guys in the city of Shiraz, um, Mohsen Hazrati and Milad Furzande founded Darul Hokume, a new media art project in Shiraz in 2014 with the vision of creating a space for emer emerging artistic practices. They both are graphic designers, so that's why you could see um, a wonderful website with uh, eye-catching colors. I love their website so much. Uh, Daro Hokume has hosted exhibitions, screenings, talks, lectures, and workshops, and has been at the forefront of the intersection of culture, art, and technology within Iran and on an international level. With the DAP project, Mohsen and Milad have managed to create a thriving and vibrant new media art scene in Shiraz that is able to compete with Tehran and other centers of new media around the world. Uh, that project is currently working with Amber Festival uh, to curate some events, introducing Iranian artists to the world. I guess it's, I guess it's going to happen in Berlin in a virtual uh, version. It's also a good um, collective to find mesmerizing uh, graphic designs and um, mixture of colors. So here is their email if you want to get in touch with them. Uh, and the next one, is new media platform. Um, sorry, here are their videos. A new media platform, uh, they started their career like 10 years ago, but um, today they are working on a great um, media art uh, content on their um, on their Instagram. And also they have uh, curated some projects in um, international festivals. Here they sent me two videos to show you and 
Um, if you uh, search them on Instagram, you can find their project. Uh, it is called um, New Media uh, Platform. New media platform works in a worldwide network of audiovisuals and organizations to support, share, and critically discuss new creative techniques. They foster innovative thinking, experimentation, and prototyping. So um, I guess their uh, Instagram is a good source to uh, look into their projects. They have really cool stuff to find. You could also see the name of uh, established media artist in Tehran. Uh, you can uh, give me an email if you want to uh, know more about uh, individual artists. Um, and I guess I'm passing the time. So let's go back to the last one is KFAB, which stands for a kinetic fabrication studio. So a kinetic fabrication studio, it's uh, their, it's their information. Here's their email if you want to get in touch with them. Uh, kinetic fabrication studio is a specialist in kinetic structure production in Iran. Their specialty is to produce a range of smart, interactive, synchronized, and, uh, and what? Kinetic structures for all kinds of events like art galleries, interior uh, displays, stage shows, and much more. I have seen their projects in um, shopping centers and in streets. So uh, let's see their videos, they can get the points. Here is a project. It's an interactive project they did in um, Melnat Park in Tehran. Second project is called Green Blend.
I guess I'm done. I, sorry, I just talked too fast. Um, but uh, you can be in touch with me to get uh, more information about Tehran Media Art Scene. And if you take a look at Tadax Festival, there are a lot of names over there uh, that um, like uh, media artists and other projects that you can discover. And thank you for your time.